video is going to be a mess for me to edit. This is kind of what we're working with. So I figure we have goals, self-explanatory, which are, you know, obviously those are bookshelves that are like mm, amazing, perfect, perfection. That's what, that's what we all aspire to be. But then we have all inspiring and these ones are like really good, but maybe like not perfect in some way, shape or form. Right. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. Which is kind of like my go to phrase in life. It's fine. Which just means like it's a shelf and it looks OK. I have some critiques, but it's fine. Needs improvement means that it's probably doing its job, but it's probably not doing its job well. Um, sure means that it's probably not great. <laughs> it's probably not great. Um, you failed. There's a lot of things wrong. Well, y wrong. There's a lot of things wrong, and I don't want to look at them anymore. <laughs> They have physically upset me to some degree. I'm a sucker for white bookshelves. I love white bookshelves. They're just something very classic and timeless. I'm gonna pull this up. I do love height organization is probably my favorite type of organization. Why is the cart empty? <laughs> I have you finished your TBR like goals? If so, wondering like all of this side looks really full. But then you have some that I'm assuming these might be series together, maybe. Um, but you have some that seem like they're like taking over, especially this shelf. This shelf seems to have a lot going on now. I can tell this is a Shadow Hunter shelf, so like I feel that. Um, but then you have a, a ton of empty space over here, it feels like. So I'm wondering if some disbursement could happen or some trinkets could happen. Because I feel like I don't get to see any of your other hobbies. What else do you like? I, I'm a, I'm a knickknack girl. So I would love to see some knickknacks and also fill the TBR car. I need it to be filled, but I love height organization, A plus height organization. I love to have these shelves and I'm going to put it in all inspiring. That might change as we come across more. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, but that might change at some point. Is this that I see but Stasi staring back at me? All right. Okay. First thing. First thing, Starzy. What's up? What's up with all the Funkos? No. <laughs> I feel like that's the first thing anyone is going to say in literally every video. But I like Funkos. I do. And I like when they're lined up and they're like, all visible if you're gonna have funkos display the shit out of them i really want to do a series where i like re make over people's like digitally of course but i make over people's libraries um i would put the guitar on the wall probably like get a nice little display they're a little full but then you do have another one and i love that this one has a ladder i love that this one has a ladder i don't it i um Love that it has actually drawers down here because I wanted my shelves to have storage in the bottom part because there's a lot of shit that like you just need to store away, you know? I would love to see the Funkos spread out over here because it seems like this one has a lot happening on it. So it might be nice to spread them out because this one looks like it could use um, like some, some equalness. Docking points for this monstrosity. This monstrosity? No. Hell. Put it in hell. This ranks in hell. Fish that they matched. I'm a I'm a matchy matchy girl. But overall, a lot of personality spilling out. A lot. A lot going on. We're gonna dock points for the the Teletubby monstrosity. It's fine. And I think this would fall under the category of I'm gonna put it under, I mean it's fine. It's fine. Like, I can tell that there's a system. I can tell that a lot of love and care has gone into these. And you definitely need more. Like, you need more shelves to, I think, spread out all the things. Um, Because a good way that you can also... This is for everyone. This is not directly for Starzy. But a good way, like, if you have more space, 
is um, do like a few, like three books this way, stacked this way, and then you put trinkets on top of them so they don't block block the book. You need more space, and I feel like these would be amazing if you had the proper space to display all the good things. Because I think bookshelves are very personal and they can show like someone's journey and all of their interests. I don't even know if Denisha's here tonight, but I tell you what, these shelves are kind of some of my favorites. Retro, hipster-like, very coffee shop-esque to me. I love that there is like a shrine <laughs> happening at the top. Yeah, they're kind of cool. And I can tell it's someone who reads, but it's probably not their main hobby. Like no one who I feel like is a massive reader is going to have this type of shelf because you're not going to fit much on it. I love this. I love the little shrine. I can tell that this all was very carefully placed as well. Like there's a nice symmetry. We have tall items on the sides and then some smaller things around. I love the record player. And I like that the books kind of, I, I wonder if anyone else notices this, but it's like tall to short and then tall to short this way. So it kind of balances out a little bit instead of showing all the tall books on one side. And we gotten, we have like some, um, some in things. And I like that the, the, the Funko or whatever this is, is displayed on the top. Yeah, the height balance is nice. Um, and then we get to the bottom and it looks like this is probably like, um, I love these shoes. I love them. And this looks like it's kind of just like, um, leftover things probably. So points out for the cup in the picture. <laughs> also, all these wires are driving me nuts. The wire management, but the overall shelves I think are good. They are a really good starting point. Like I said, these are fine. They're fine, but not, I can't, I can tell that they're not like, it's a starting point. Next tier list is doing our cable. Yes, I'm tier ranking your cable management next. Just letting you all know ahead of time. So I'm not really sure. I do like, I like when we use the top of the shelves because these aren't super great for books. You can't really set books on the top of the shelves. Um, so I like when they're used for knickknack kind of deal. So I like that we can see uh, a play, Darker Shade of Whitney is based off a of Darker Shade of Magic. I like that there is a Funko specific shelf to the side. <gasps> she has one of those cards for a camera stuff. You love black shelves. See, I don't like black shelves. I just don't like them. I think you can see the pre-drilled holes on the side much more in black shelves. And I think if they were a thicker material, like I love a thick shelf. I like them thick yeah the piles of books everywhere well also if you look on this car it's kind of housing a lot of random stuff right it's just housing it's not even really housing books there's some funkos uh some sort of supplies and like a blanket or something here so there's a lot happening and i can't see what's happening beyond this it looks like there's some stuffed animals of some sort just shoved up in this like top corner um there's a random book piled here there is some falling books here and also i think some sort of tripod um not good symmetry so let me tell you i would move this stack here see how it has this massive middle stack that should go in one of these top two middle shelves so that because this your eye is immediately drawn to the shelf over here because there's a lot happening on that shelf it's the tallest shelf. So we also have this random rainbow shelf. And I think if the rest of the shelves were somewhat rainbow, it would work. But the fact that there's only one, it also draws your eye. So this rainbow one should probably go down here at the bottom. This one needs to go in the top middle. And these down here, something needs to happen down here. Just something needs to happen down here. I don't know what, but something needs to happen. I think for Whitney shelves, we're going to put it under needs improvement. I think it needs improvement. I think that things have just gotten a little out of hand there. You know, things are just a little out of hand. Nathan, I'm already concerned. I'm already concerned, Nathan. No, no to that. I do not support what that's what is being said right now. That's a no for me. <laughs> is this the book? 
What the hell book even is this? What is going on up here though? We have plushy jail. Plushy jail. Let them free. Let me tell you how to improve this. Throw it all out and start again. <laughs> Move the Funkos to the middle so that they're symmetry. Move them to the middle because they take up the most space. And move these over here. Move this. If you are not currently using this fantasy dice, move it. Move it to the top with this craft cheese. Is it craft cheese? Um, you failed because there is one book. One book. Now we're on to Amanda, first of all. Awful. God awful. Look at disgusting. Wow. Hate him. So ugly. God damn it, Amanda. God damn it. There you submit these. These are unworthy. They're they're by height, basically. Like, even the ones that aren't really by height still feel by height. You've left enough room. First of all, plants A+. Plus. Um, you've done what I had said to do, which was stack books and then add the trinket on top basically. Um, there's a, there's some knickknacks. There's not a lot of knickknacks. I'm surprised that you don't have more knickknacks. Just cheating, winning alley over the plants. I know. I even love that these stack of shelves that we can see have the smaller shelves or smaller books on top. Well, they're very cool looking. And then we have the, the side view. Not much going on at the top. It's fine. I think we already know where I'm going to put these. I think we know goals but i know that amanda put a shit ton of time and effort into that all right here is aspasia now aspasia sent me i believe it's four pictures of the same shelves so we can fully immerse ourselves in aspasia's um shelves here first of all i can already tell there's a bit of a color scheme happening and i love i love a beautiful new take on a rainbow shelf because I feel like you don't initially look at this and go, a rainbow. Wow. I'm a big supporter of turned around books and I'm sure there is a good reason for them. I love turned around books. I love them. Let me tell you what else is happening here. The Funkos match the color scheme of the shelves for the most part. And I love that we've broken up the color a little bit with the turned around and it makes it feel very pastel down here now this shelf looks a little barren this one looks a little barren and pretty much all of them are turned around which kind of breaks up the theme of what we've already had going on with some books are facing out and some aren't so that breaks it up a little bit and then i can tell that this bottom shelf is a little bit it's a little bit of a mess i mean we all have a mess shelf right but we have more pictures we do have more pictures oh <gasps> wait you know what i didn't even realize I didn't even notice that these weren't white shelves. I didn't even notice that these weren't white shelves until I went to the second picture. And I kind of like this like unfinished wood, just a little bit something before they're all inspiring. And I feel like we're gonna have a lot that are probably going to end up in this, I mean, it's fine area. I can tell these are in her living room and they're a little sparse. They're a little sparse. We got some sparseness going on. Did focus um, some of the main collections front and center, which is what you should do. So we do have some of these main collections front and center. Um, I think I'm just really distracted by this like basically empty shelf. I think I would pull, so see how this is a full shelf over here? I would pull a stack of these and put those over here, or even a stack here and put those over here and add some knickknacks to fill it out. Inspiring, it's missing life. I need some knickknacks. I need there to be more symmetry. Like there's too many books facing out here and nowhere else. Um, so I think some rearrangement and adding some knickknacks, some fake plants, sculptures, just like literally anything to add a little bit more interest. Cause I look at this and I'm like, that's nice. Like, it's fine. I'm trying to recall what all she reads. And I do think it's a lot of ebooks, so that might explain why they're looking a little sparse. But I think that they are just a little too empty and there's just not enough um, life. So I think that is what we're going to do. A little bit more and it will be there, I feel like. 
Maddie's shelves. First of all, I, I don't know if Maddie has other shelves because this is the only shelf I have seen in her videos. Like in all the years that I've watched Maddie on booktube, Maddie is the book pusher. We got, yeah, we do have a whole village of pops and you know what's bugging me here is that they're not like aligned. They're kind of like thrown up there. Like they're not really centered. They're not really, yeah. Also, this is a Lord of the Rings. So this one needs to be with the Lord of the Rings. I don't know who this is. I can't tell who that is. But this one's a Lord of Rings pop. It shouldn't be in front of Game of Thrones. It should be in front of Lord of the Rings. Cut the tag off of this, please. I'm begging you or hide it or something, please. Uh, this is a bit of a mess. Um, we got just some supplies laying out. It's fine. Just put these in the cup. Like, these would fit in this cup. Put them in the cup. Come on, Maddie. Get with it. Because we have some more Lord of the Rings stuff here. Why wouldn't you just add them? Just think it's a bit of a, it's a, bit, it's a, bit of a mess. You know? I think we could do with... Even like breaking these up a little bit and kind of moving them around um, so they're a little more dispersed instead of just being like, this is a Funko show. Just dispersing them like, um, like there's some up here. Even if you broke up the books in this area down here and kind of move them and have just like maybe a Funko here. Um, I don't know. They're just not symmetrical. They're, they're a bit messy. Maddie, Maddie will understand when I gift her when i gift her as the first um sure category because they're a bit of they're a, girl they messy feel like we could do some moving around some cleaning up and make things work all right on to the next one india okay we have this one i love a good corner shelf but you know what concerns me about a corner shelf what's happening back here this is dead space what's going on back here What's happening behind these shelves? They are colorful. And I do think they're also by height. Also, why did you keep this box? Why is this box here? I really took the time to take the picture and put a filter. This very clearly has a filter on it. Why wouldn't you remove the box, India? Remove the box! I like colorful shelves. I like colorful shelves. I also, if anyone can tell, they aren't exactly rainbow, but it kind of works. And they are by height. There is some height order happening along here. So I like that. It's colorful. I like that there's a fake plant. I kind of wish there was more because this is another shelf that just like kind of missing some personality. We have do have two two Funkos and they are displayed kind of like how I said um, you should display. We do have two random books here that look like they could fit. Would like to see like um, some more outward facing books maybe? A few more outward facing because we only have three. We have one at the top missing something totally at the top there and then two at the bottom and I feel like there's just some missed opportunity to do some more displaying. These shelves miss the cheese, right? They 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 just don't have the craft cheese factor in them. Like this box could say craft cheese. I'm gonna see some bookshelves that I'm probably gonna get mixed up because they look very similar. So they're gonna go under, I mean, it's fine. Ashley, I love Ashley. Frolic Through Fiction is another booktuber um, known for like a dark academia and kind of like vintage classic mythology type stuff. First of all, if we were villains, A plus, A plus. Um, oh my God, I just noticed something. Do you think Ashley likes the bone season vibes? Like you can tell, first of all, the shelf is built in and I like that it's like a core, it looks like a little nook, right? And um, you can tell there's a little bit of knickknacks here that very much show like her personality. There's a little plant here I love. I don't care what anyone says, nursery pots are amazing. I love nursery pots. And a Monstera. This Monstera isn't getting enough light, I can tell you that much. The view of which she would be filmed from. So here, where she would stand in front of these is perfect um we have a nice u shape happening in both of them 
we have a good mixture of like some trinkets that actually match with like what's happening. We have some beautiful display items. These are both beautiful display books. We have some beautiful trinkets and some pages in the background that add to it. And then we can tell where the camera angle ends. Because there's not enough room. We could make room with these top shelves, but they won't be beautiful. I mean, even these colors are curated in this top area. These colors are curated. Bottom ones had as much care as these top ones. This could be a potentially like goals shelf because you can tell a lot of time and effort has gone into them into making them look really lovely. And it's like a, a nice clutter. You know what would have been interesting if she would have cropped that picture so I could not have seen the bottom part. I probably would have gave that like goals, but I'm going to put it under, I mean, it's fine because the bottom half is, um, it's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. All right, we're on to Bookseller Baggins. I'm not too sure if I know who this is, but let me tell you, I thought this was a fucking Tumblr picture. I am annoyed at how much I love this. You know what else makes me really pleased? These books fit perfectly. They like are perfectly fitted to these little freaking cubbies and I hate love it. I love that there's a color scheme and we're fitting with this color scheme. It's very fall-esque. Now, I mean, this does have a filter on it. I can tell this has a filter. I actually like the pumpkins out year round. I love that. I love this like artwork. I oh wait, that's Divergent? That's Divergent? Oh, so I can tell this person has spent money. Um, I think these are the pocket editions of, th of the Throne of Glass series. Lots of editions of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, but also custom covers down here. And I think this is the Court of... Is this the Court of Thorns and Roses series? Custom covers. And I think this is an arc. This is an arc, is it not? Uh, well, yeah, bookstores couldn't do this. Bookstores couldn't do this. They wouldn't sell anything unless they were a mystery bookstore. Great marketing if you're a mystery bookstore. These are pretty all inspiring. I can tell some time and effort went into these and really thinking out the symmetry and thinking out where everything is going to go. So these, I think, are just going to have to be goals. Based on what we can see, if the rest of the shelves are a mess, I don't want to know. You know? I don't want to know. They're very aesthetic, very beautiful. All right, we have Kit Kat. Kit Kat. There's a lot. There's a lot happening. I mean, the cats are clearly having the time of their lives. The cats are like living it up. Um, this just stresses me out. The bed in the middle makes me nervous because I think um most of us would probably feel a little claustrophobic a little bit um that close to all of this and like the worry of it falling off because if you can tell this top shelf that is not a shelf those books are just willy-nilly up there for what they can in the moment um but i think at some point it would probably be good to invest into a setup that is safe and that can be organized because i'm not too sure there's any organization happening here they're kind of just thrown it looks like into what is this music i feel like i'm like running running a rave or something I think one way if you have a bunch of shelves that don't match um you could paint them all the same color or put contact paper on them that is the same color so it looks a little bit more co cohesive i am wondering if these are not real bookshelves because look at those books are hanging off of the shelves either that or these are double stacked and I think it's either time to downsize or invest in some taller shelves, some more organization, just something. Cause like, I'm scared. <laughs> this feels unsafe. No plants, straight to jail, straight to jail, no plants. But it does look like there's more to the room to the side. If we swung these out and if you move this bed to the middle and use these smaller ones as the headboard, 
You could hide a little bit of mess behind the bed if you use these shelves as a headboard. Oh, I think it would give you more of a room instead of like a a jail cell of books. Like knickknackery happening here that I feel like could probably be put into some baskets. Um, probably a lot of, I see a fairy loot box, so probably a lot of like small knickknacks that don't really need to be displayed all the time that could probably go into some like baskets or um, something. But I feel like if we could move these somewhere and add the bed as a here as a headboard it would it improve a little bit also paint the shelves just so they're one cohesive color i didn't realize i was going to be telling people how to improve their setups i don't think that's what was that isn't what was promised but that seems to be what's happening here today if it's a fire hazard it might be a fail yeah i but i think if a little bit more time and care went into it it would be it would be great because there's a lot there to work with all right on to barb basic does the job i can already see a plant i see a plant does anyone else see what's happening on top here we have a horror fan i feel like if you were look wait i need you all to see this if you look at this part of the room down here is that a shrimp first of all is that a is that a shrimp if you were to look at this part of the room, let me tell you, this is not what I would be expecting at the top. <laughs> also, this super cute pink lamp. <laughs> and then you had the like baby blue walls. <laughs> it's displayed beautifully on top. You there's like a fanning out from the center, which is perfect. Like weirdly, it it almost feels separate from the shelves altogether. Like it feels totally separate from the shelves. And then we get into the actual shelves and there's a there's a, a really good mix of uh, knickknackery happening. We have some nice um, things out on display. So each shelf almost has a bit of a display happening. Bottom's always a mess and we've seen that the mess has actually made its way to the second. What is this plant doing shoved in this corner? You should use this to hide this hot mess express is what you should be doing. Move this here, move those back there. Immediately looks better, better put together. For the most part, I think it's a good, good mix. Now this shelf here in the middle, this needs to be moved because it's not impressive enough i feel like almost needs switched because this looks kind of empty because this this display item is not big enough to fill what like it doesn't match this shelf this shelf has a lot it has a lot happening so it doesn't have enough to fill so these ones almost need switched because this one also um looks a little less on that side because this book is blocking those um i feel like they could get two of those small because i'm pretty sure this is like an ikea shelf and I'm pretty sure you could get two of those small ones or at least one more small one or even put it in the middle, like a small one to put in the middle to put some of these stacks of books on and fill it out a little bit more. This person says they're basic. These are not basic. Barb, these are not basic shelves. Barb's not so basic shelves. Okay, where are they? It always takes me 10 years to find them here. Quite all inspiring. Again, I feel like they're probably just fine. We have Michelle's. Michelle, these are beautiful. Can I just say these are beautiful? Because, one, I love a good cabinet tree. I love a good cabinet tree. I feel like because these are a bit smaller, you probably had to spend a good amount of time really deciding on what you want here. I was going to say, these don't look like uh, like your normal bookshelves. And I can tell that this is one solid piece down here, down at the bottom. I can tell. But I feel like you can tell like some care has gone into selecting what's happening here. And I, I, I think some people would probably be upset that these aren't Roy G. Biv order. I noticed. I noticed that they're not Roy wow. G. Biv. Wow, indeed. And, um, I know you have your whites together because that makes sense. But I feel like the black, the two black back to back are darkening this a little bit. And it might work if you did one of these white ones in the middle. So then the black was um, kind of symmetrical on the top part. Or you could have a black shelf here and maybe a black shelf down at the bottom. Add some add some little knickknacks. Just 
or a plant at oh like a plant up here that dangles down a hanging plant off the top here would be fantastic or even one here or if you had two one up here and one down here that would be amazing you have two knickknacks here and i would love to see that mirrored on the other side okay there are leds in the shelves that is fantastic the cabinets can hold 315 bath and body works three wick candles Michelle, do you have a problem? The one between the doors was a sec were secret panels that pop out and hold wax melts? Oh my god, this is amazing! Just out here exposing your candle addiction. Yes! God dear! I mean, come on! They're beautiful and they hold a separate function because they're just beautiful and I feel like they are they make a really great talking piece. I mean, look at us. They make a really great talking piece. <gasps> oh my god! Look at them with the lights on! Oh my god! I'm jealous. I want these lights because I just have the basic ass fucking Christmas lights. I want this! I want this! Wow. I'm gonna keep playing it. Wow. Because, like... that because this picture is amazing oh my god you all submitted so many photos that i that i have several parts of this like we're not even through them all yet i have been doing it live on twitch so be sure to follow me over there my username is with malice so you can come make fun of some bookshelves with us please remember that it's all in good fun good vibes only and i will see you in the next one bye